We start with this news alert. Deputies have arrested a man who they say had an explosive device at a January 6th protest outside the Pinellas County Courthouse. The sheriff says that people were protesting in front of that courthouse yesterday to mark one gear since the Capitol attack because one of the men arrested in connection to that attack is being held there. So the question now tonight is, what was this guy supposedly with this explosive planning to do before deputies got to him? 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio is live outside the sheriff's office with uh, Miguel. The more we learn about this, the more wild it becomes. Right, Josh, the man we're talking about here is Garrett James Smith, a 22 year old of Oldsmar. And like you said, investigators here are puzzled. They don't know a motive behind this and they don't know why he's doing this. But we can tell you here is he's facing charges for making explosive devices that are homemade. And for some reason, investigators say he decided not to detonate any of those to those protesters. Here's what else we can tell you. Uh, deputies saw him running away east from the protests outside the Pinellas County Courthouse. He was dressed in all black. This was just before 8 p.m. when that protest was set to wrap up. And during his arrest, they found, aside from those explosive devices, a checklist of gear and armor, including a gas mask and a helmet. And now here's why investigators say it's so hard to learn more about the motive behind this supposed attack. Smith has no criminal history, no social media accounts that we can find, and there's no prior intelligence information about Smith. Smith is what we call a sleeper, and these are the most concerning individuals because there's no opportunity to intervene and thwart their criminal activity until they actually act. Now, Smith supposedly did spend some time in Oregon. The helmet he was wearing or brought with him, a red and black one, is a sign of the fact that he was in charge of some of those protests taking place in Oregon. But again, the deputies want to reiterate they don't know a motive behind this or what side he's really on. We can tell you that he's being held on $300,000 bond. The charges are not stemming here in the state of Florida. The deputies are just holding him here for the marshals. We'll be keeping an eye on this and we'll share the latest with you here on 10 Tampa Bay.